Okay, so uh, yesterday, let's see where we were. I will start with index.php and see what is remaining and what we have to do. Okay, so this uh, pretty much looks okay. Only content has to be changed, which I will do in a few days when I have that content. I, I did not get time to you know, find the content for this page still, but I will do that in this week. So let's go to the another page. Let's go to our team page. We'll do our team now. Okay, so our team is uh, looking uh, it's very simple now. Let's go to our team. You did not send me your photos and content. Okay, make sure you do it today or tomorrow. So I will go to the modifier. Right now I'll put the image, whatever we have. And I'll choose the LR and select it. Body will be edit region three, head will be head. And I'll click OK. Okay, so this is my, our team. I will start with, uh, I will start soon. Let me see what else is pending. So we have bootstrap, font awesome, style.css, we have everything. Okay, so we have to start with uh, our team. So in our team, I will start with a section. Always create some section. Section is something which you want to divide another part from the page. So different sections can be created. Like we did in the index one, we created different sections for different kind of uh, look and feel. So we'll start with the section. We'll give some class to this section. Let's give the class of section title. You can give any name, just we need to read that CSS or this. And then I'll start with Container and uh, we have multiple rows or multiple columns. I will create the row and columns like we did in the uh, you know other pages. Let's say in the index page, since we have two columns here, so I created the row and then I created the column, two columns. Here I'm just giving the headline. Thing. So I don't need two columns, and so I don't need row. I don't need row, and I don't need the columns. I will just put the content. So in the content, I will say h1 tag, and I will say our. I will say just our team. Let's see how it looks. Okay, so it's our team. Now I will try to some CSS for this one. So let's go to the style.css. Uh, you know, you can do anything, whatever you want. Just, uh, just it looks, should look nice. Rest, whatever you want, you can do. It's a section title. The section is giving the padding of 30 and 10. But here on this page, I don't want the padding of uh, 30 and 10. I want the padding of 10 pixel only. I will give the padding of 10 pixel. So on the front page, it was okay to have 30, but here I want padding of 10 pixel. I will give background color of you can choose whatever color you want. Right now, I'll choose 0, 3, 8. Zero. Something background color like this, and color that is the text color should be white. This is something I want for the heading, and I will copy this three. 
style and I will create it a section I will create section title and I will put it in that section title padding background color and this is about my heading some things I need this hour to be the bigger and teams to be the smaller in some pages you know I want half of the part to be the bigger half of part to be the smaller to give some visual effect let's say if I want team to be the smaller right now I don't want team to be smaller but let's say if I want team to be smaller I will get one small tag I can use and also but then also then I have to change the font size with small it will automatically little bit smaller than the normal text so in that small I will put the team and then I will go to the style tag and I will create dot section dash title and inside that section title I want small tag I have these properties what are the properties I want I want color to be the gray color and I will put important so that it should take precedence over other plus. And I will refresh the page. Okay, background color is not coming. Let's see background color. Where is the background color? Okay, so it's not taking the background color. Let's inspect it. Okay, maybe, maybe my section uh, title. Nothing is there going. Let's see the spelling. Okay, it's not coming. And here also I don't see it. Let me refresh the floor. Okay, maybe it was uh, a kind of issue. But you see that our is bigger, team is smaller. Right now I don't want smaller team kind of thing, but in some some pages I want like this. Something smaller shack should be here, or I can create. Uh, I can create like this. I will say our team, and in the small tag, I will put some different text. Meet our developers. Yeah. So our team looks big, and meet our developers looks smaller. So this this is at least. Okay, like this one. Now let's go further and we will create some uh, our photo images and all. Okay, so let's create another section. So whenever you want to put some different thing, you have to create the section. I will put the class name later. Let's create the section. If I need, I will create the class, otherwise I will not create the class. Okay, so here in the section, I will start with the deal. Class container. And inside the container, since I want to get the columns, I will use, I will start with row. And then I will start with the columns. Okay. So here I want to create the breadcrumbs. So if you know the breadcrumbs, if you don't know the breadcrumbs, we'll go to the getbooster.com and we'll see what are the breadcrumbs are there. I don't see breadcrumbs here. Yeah, breadcrumbs. So breadcrumbs are here like this link, home library, home library data. So something like that I want to put. So I will create breadcrumbs inside this one. Since it is only one content, I can remove the row and column. 
I can put directly the bread comes inside the container. So, and let's see how it looks now. Okay, this is my breadcrumbs. I will change the breadcrumb to home and then it's our team. And I will give the link of our team to our team PHP. And for the home, I will give the link index.php. This is the one time work we are doing, and we will copy the same thing in all our projects. So it's a home. If I click home, it will go to index.php. And it's our team. Our team will be the same page. I can I can remove the I can remove the AH reference because our team is the current page, so we don't need any breadcrumb for that. Okay, so I don't have breadcrumb because this is the current page we are on. This is a breadcrumb we created. Now we'll go down and we will. We'll create the our team, right? Okay, let's go down. So let's create another section for our team. And since here we will be having different columns, so I have to create the row and uh, columns. Since on one row, I will be having three columns. So I will make each one with the four length. And whatever I will do in the first one, I will copy in the second and third. So first one, I want to start with the image tag. So I'll put the image tag and I will give some class. Since uh, this is a class, we need to use the bootstrap classes. So I will create some bootstrap classes. I will say image responsive. I will add more classes, for example, image, thumbnail, and I will say image. These three images I will, three classes I will add for the image, and I will put a source. Source will be images inside images i have woman one dot jpg which i will change with my image right now i'm just putting see how it looks okay so this is the image of the first developer we'll copy the same thing for the second developer and the third developer And in the second one, I will choose the first one. Let's choose man one, second one, woman one, third one, I'll choose man two. These three will be replaced by all three images. Right now, I'm just putting them in images. Tomorrow, I will put the real image. Okay, so these are the three developers right now for this project. Now, I will put the name of each developer. I will start with H3 tag. I will say name. Okay. And here I will start with a small tag. And here I will say near web developer. So it's saying my name and the small is something senior web developer. Second one, I will repeat this for the second one and third one. Second one, I will say, for example, Kerry. And third one, I will say Kate. It's a man, but tomorrow we'll change the image. And I will put her full name. I don't know your full name. I don't remember the full name. Okay, we will adjust the spacing and size in few minutes. It's going on the side. Let's move, move it to the center and all. 
Okay, let's give some description now. So we'll start with the description. Okay, you want webmaster, so let's put this webmaster, whatever you want. Uh, what do you like? Let's refresh, sorry. Okay, carry Parek, webmaster, and Kate is, she will tell me. You have to give full name and what you want, designation. Then let's put some paragraph. And this paragraph will be, I can say, 15 years of experience in web development. Working on Angular JS, create JS, PHP, MySQL, Postscript, something like Bootstrap, like this. I will not put all my skills, I just few skills which are important. So something like that. So you also give me something like that for yours. I will copy this right now. But I want your description, whatever you want to put. Right now I'm copying the same in all the three. Okay. So I copied all the C with the same description, but I'll change the description once I receive the description from you. So this is something we got. Uh, okay, now we have to put some Facebook, LinkedIn account. So I, I got from internet one code kind of thing, which will give the, which will give the, you know, look and feel of the, Social profiles. I will paste it in the chat also. I will paste in the chat also. This is something you know you can get. This is nothing to do much on the your style of coding. This is you know fixed icons are there. Social networking icons. I got those, and I will put that here. Okay, it's not appearing. Something is missing. I think I need to put something. Okay, what it's saying? FA Facebook Square. So I think Let's see what is this? FA Facebook Square is there. It is there. Let me see now. Okay, I got this icon. These are the icons just, you know, uh, in the font also. And it is placed on the URL and LA tag. And with some styling already given, which are the bootstrap styling. And this is the icon in the font also. Uh, font also, uh, you know, this, uh, Facebook link or uh, LinkedIn square or Twitter square. This all comes from the font awesome and we get simple links. And this is this is just additional parameters. If you don't give them, that also fine. And you have to give the link where it will go. So right now I don't remember my Facebook link. So I will give first com. Later on I will find the exact link in the Facebook. And I'll change it. And this will be the LinkedIn. And this will be the Twitter. And this one will be the. I have to find this all links exactly. I don't have these links right now. I will do it and I will update it. And you also give me your links. So I can update that also. So this is about our team. Let me refresh it. Okay, let's put some styling, more styling, because uh, 
some styling. Let me see. Check. This is my H3. If I give, if I give this tag, line center. Okay, let's give the text line center. So if I want to give something about the bootstrap for this H3 tag, I will make the alignment center. So we have center in the bootstrap, which lines to the center. Okay, yeah, that looks good. So this is our developers, meet our developers, and I will put my photo here. Here your photo will come, and here its photo will come, and the description and exact link which I want. And if our project grows, there are more developers, we will add more developers here in the list. Is that okay? Eddie, is it okay? Yeah. Okay, I will I will I will give this whole page which I did. The chat. Okay. I, I will email you this uh, one, right? Or you I will commit it, you can take from the GitHub. Have you taken, have you seen the GitHub? You can take anything which I commit. Yesterday I sent you to give you the link. Do you remember? Yeah, we have. Okay. Okay, so that's it for today about uh, this, our project, and I will now uh, start our different project, which we I am going to start today. Uh, that will be the project 100 and we will be creating 100 projects in short time okay and we will finish this by tomorrow wednesday at 9 to 9 30. is that okay